What is going on, Wolfbag Savage here? Oh my god, here we go again. This bald man screaming at YouTube all the time. In today's video, we're breaking down random in-game situations. I want you guys to win the game. Don't just make it halfway through. Before we dive into the gameplay, I want to teach you guys how to win the game, not just make it halfway through. But before we dive into the gameplay, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel today. Join the Wolfpack. Also, leave a like on the video. Let's get this video to 2,000 likes for those guys in honor of them. But without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into what's left of the gameplay. So, we, we were spectating a team here in the intro. I don't know why we didn't start spectating the team that killed them. We started spectating this guy camping in a window. Awesome. Activision knows who I like to spectate. All right, but anyway, here we are spectating homeboy skillet that's mounted in a window, just ADS staring his ass away instead of looking around him. But we have we have this hotel building marked and we're just gonna sit in the window, finally jumping down, vaulting on top of the car and just to go back on the ground. This man trying to be a parkour legend and we're gonna run circles around the warehouse. I love that. Meanwhile, our teammate gets knocked. Don't go for the res yet, brother. Y'all, y'all need to start, y'all need to start crawling into safer spots, bro. If you just got down from that direction, you need to like crawl away from it. I know you may think you're safe, but if all the enemy has to do is take three right steps and he has an angle on you, you're not safe enough. He should have just crawled behind this little generator and then we can get the res off. He may not die, but why risk it? Why risk it? All right, but now we're in a fight. Not sure exactly what's going on or who's here. No one's got a ping out. When blue went down, he should automatically ping where the enemy downed him from, right? You have these things again called hit indicators that give you a direction of where he got down from. And you have to make some kind of educated decision based off of that. Enemy marked. Here comes one dude running right at us, not giving a shit. We're gonna jump. Don't do this chat. We don't know how many teammates he has. Oh, weird. I'm, I'm all for playing aggressive. I really am. But if you're going to put yourself out uh, out in the middle of the open, you need to find out what the hell is really going on, right? And the whole team's just going to do it. We're just going to leave our hard cover, start challenging all the enemies by ourselves. Poor Blue is trying to work his ass off. We have footsteps coming behind us as well. And there's the third party right there, brothers. GG. First team sitting in the buildings go down. And now we're on to the next one. Think. Uh, who knows? They may have a spectate the guys on top of the apartments. Who knows? This game just does whatever they want. All right, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, spectating Vasquez, who is... Heart beating everything! Look. The heartbeat sensor is, is an awesome tool, and I don't want, to, I don't want anyone to put it away because I tell you to put it away, right? Use the heartbeat if you want. It's a great tool. Fantastic. Definitely one of my top two tacticals to use, right? Stuns or that. If you want to use heartbeats, that's fine. But why, why is he heartbeating over here? Can someone please right now stop watching the videos, pause it and type in the comment section. Just type exactly why you think he's heartbeating over here. I mean, if you are going to heartbeat, I'd be heartbeating in another direction. Maybe your left hand side, somewhere else. We've already scanned this area three times. Here we go with the fourth. Our team is literally running out in the open. It's ADS on the ground. Pull out our other weapon, ADS, while reloading that. Maybe ADS again. Nope, switch our gun again. And heartbeat. There it is. Oh, he got it. Yeah, okay. 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 And remember, guys, look. Fun fact. Huge secret. Nobody knows this. So I want you guys to listen closely. This is a huge secret. Huge hack, dude. And only the top tier players know this. A savage. You just said no one knows it. Okay. Okay. Some people know it, but very few people know it. So um, if there's no one on UAV, they're not going to show up on your heartbeat sensor. Just want to go ahead and throw that out there for those who didn't know. All right. Move on. All right, we're sitting here doing absolutely nothing. We have money, by the way, for UAV or for anything. self right You can get whatever you want, Vasquez. Do you, brother. All right, here we are. At least he's slide canceling. He's going to cover. Okay, we're going to respect that. So, I mean, he's not a total bot. He's definitely a newer player, I think. Or he had a noob moment. And, that, you know, that, that could be a thing. These guys may actually be decent players. They just have noob moments where they don't really know what to do or things that they're really not aware of. Hence why we made this video. Yeah, I definitely want to be on the high ground, but I'm gonna be honest judging by this circle and judging by where the circle is not gonna favor It's not gonna favor over here. So I'd go ahead and rotate out of this spot completely. I would just leave um, Best case scenario for you guys y'all take the roof. I'll sit up here 
try to gatekeep people coming in. But assuming you win that fight and everything, all you're gonna do is sit up on this roof and then eventually you're gonna be forced to bail off in one of the two directions. Either go to Superstore or go to Storage Town, one of the two. And again, when you bail off into the open, what's usually gonna happen? You're usually gonna die by getting shot out of the sky. Right, here we are going up to the building right now. Again, I'd be rotating to, uh, I'd be rotating to Storage Town. It could go either way. Storage Town or Superstore, it can go either way, honestly. I didn't even think about buying his teammate back, actually. Sitting there talking about buying UAVs. <laughs> I didn't even think about buying his teammate back. That's on me. <laughs> I was so shook by the heartbeat thing, man. I couldn't even focus. All right, like I said, all we're going to be doing is sitting on the rooftop, and we're eventually going to have to bail off in one of two directions. But now that the circle's updated, we know we don't have to go to Superstore. We can actually just go ahead and get gas stations. So that's where you want to be at. You want to go now. The reason why I would jump off right now and go there is because you don't want to start picking fights, let enemies know where you're at, and then jump off and run out in the open. That's an easy way to get killed. So you kind of want to have some sort of element of surprise to work in your favor. All right, again, look, right now, let's get our weapons and let's get the high ground. I really wouldn't rotate right now because we don't know where the next circle is going to be. So I wouldn't mind you holding your position, but let's get in that two-story building, get on the rooftop, get in the second floor, get some kind of elevation with some cover, hence the windows. That way you guys can start shooting enemies rotating inward. All we're doing is sitting in the gas station is blinding ourselves from the entire map. For example, here comes a vehicle pulling up to us. I would assume going to the buy station. Granted, uh, I don't think they're going to survive. One target. I like how Anderson had the high ground. He's the one that to go ahead and get the kill. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. You want to have the high ground. Us sitting on the bottom is not going to do anything. We're just basically waiting for the enemy to come to us. When that's not what you want to do. You want to go to the enemy. You want to rotate on top of him and destroy his face. Hostile operator. All right, here we are now. There are 21 enemies left right now. The circle may favor us. If it does, we're in a good spot. If it doesn't, we are screwed. We're not totally screwed, actually. We have a little bit of the wall in our favor right now. Again, I'm not a fan of sitting in windows like this. Back away from the window. Give yourself a little bit of cover. If you're sitting here with your face pressed against it, you're gonna get shot. There's two guys. Look at the crotch. Look at the crotch, bro. <laughs> now, as far as the enemies are concerned, them being at the edge of Storage Town, no matter where the circle was gonna go, we knew damn well it wasn't gonna favor that little bitty edge up here. No, no way. It was like a million to one odds. So they should have already rotated across to play this wall and get some cover. I'm not a fan of them coming to this area and playing out here because there's not much cover there. So if I were them, I would have rotated across, gotten by a garage and played this wall. And then there's a smaller brick wall and things like that. Play cover. Stop freezing up when you're in a bad position. You know, damn well, the circle's not going to favor you. So now whether we kill these guys or not, these guys will probably die to either our hand or someone else. I say that, but we'll see. There's no immediate need for us to leave right now, but we shouldn't be laying prone. We need to be scanning and we don't need to hyper focus on this one target either. You want to scan around. There's more players on the map than just these two Joe Blows. All right, keep visual. Your, your key time is going to be when they cross this open. When they cross right here, that's going to be your key time to get some knocks. Now, here we are. Here's the waiting game. We need to move though. We can't just sit here. Keep your eyes focused. There's one. I want you guys to notice too, the spraying and praying method, right? Everyone needs to learn trigger discipline. They, you don't just want to start spraying because you see an enemy. And then when the enemy gets behind cover, you just continue to shoot. That's just a bad sign of no trigger discipline at all. When the enemy gets to cover, go ahead and divert your focus to where the other enemies could be running from. Cause you might be able to hit those shots since you missed the first ones. But all we're doing is spraying and praying. You want to play the back side of this building. Do not go out this way. You have very little to no cover. He realizes that smart play. Boom, baby. Weird, so weird. Homeboy goes out there with no cover to Ego challenge a 1v3, I think. It could be a 1v4. We only saw three though. See, Ego challenge those three guys. Now, let me ask you, as far as highlighter color is concerned, um, what, what was wrong with this besides just these guys? There's more players on the map. Even if he was able to go out there and solo trio these guys, you're probably gonna get capped from one of these, one of these other enemies that are, that are on, the, on the playing field, right? Weird.
Weird. So he's dead. We're now down to three people because Anderson went in for a bad move. Blue, no! Blue's going in for, for the res. Oh, God, bro. I don't know what he was doing. I guess he was just sitting there hard scoping the window. Did you just say there's more people on the map than just those guys? Yep, yep, I did. This is why I always tell you guys stop hyper focusing, start scanning the area because you can get pinched. This is why people get third party. Y'all stay, remain focused on one enemy team. You don't look around to your left or your right or behind you, and you end up getting third party. Eyes on shooter. All right, so right now, there's a lot of shit happening. We're in the worst spot possible. We need to work our way up to this area here. You want to get to this area. It's not much cover, but you have a hill and you have the sign that can protect you. You have a little bit more cover than you do out here. There's no cover out here. So I like the fact that Orange is trying to make his way across. He's not really, he's just kind of challenging them. Stop fighting. Oh, we got the kill. Stop fighting. Get the safety. I don't like this. I don't want to fight by this rock. I don't like this at all. I want this hill. I want ridges. I want elevation. I want big cement things to cover me, right? This is bad. I don't see us winning this game. Now, the only thing that could favor us is if the next circle rotates behind us. There goes blue. It's a four. Oh, God. It was a 4v2. But Savage, didn't you see to keep cover? I did, but look where he's at, bro. He, he literally left cover to challenge him in the open. It is a 4v2 situation. We have the favor. We outnumber them by far. So all we got to do is just play it safe, right? Play it safe. I do like the fact that Orange moved over there, but he played that entire thing wrong. Should have played the hill. He should have played the little mound. He should have played the sign. He should have played something instead of just ego challenging him by himself. So now we're down to a 3v2 and we're in a position to throw this game. I mean, the only time we unpeak is when we're popping the reloads. You need to unpeak if you're missing your shots. You need to unpeak if they're staring down their scope at you, especially when both of them are looking at it right at us. That was not a time to ego challenge. Oh yeah, that's a GG boys. All right, so as far as the enemy team's concerned right now, all they gotta do is hold their angle and gatekeep us. It is what it is. Again, I would have wanted all of us to play that hill. That way we're a little bit closer to the enemy. So if we do get a pick, we can go ahead and push in and get the kills and we'd be all somewhat together. So if one of us got knocked, we can go for the easy res. I don't foresee this team winning at all. I think the enemy team's gonna win. We, need, we can't even hit our shots. All right, here we go. Anderson actually able to come in with a crucial knock, but goes down himself. When you go ahead and capitalize, Stam needs to go in there and clean it up. We almost threw that game, but we come out with the win. GG. All right, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not sure exactly what's going on. This is literally just jumping right into the mix. We have a level two bounty on us. And we're gate kept. We are gate kept. We have 42 seconds to find our way out of this bad spot and not die. So we're getting shot from some team at stadium. And there's also a team over here. We need to pick our battles. I would go ahead, rotate up with blue, fight this fight, and then worry about rotating in. The last thing you want to do is fight two different fights. Your teammate gets knocked in one area. You get knocked in another area. Now you all spread out and you just leave your other two teammates to fend for themselves. Work together as a squad, especially when time is of the essence. Not to mention McCarthy literally is level three now and he's in the bad spot. Look at the serpentine on the mini map. Look at that. Look at that. One there. We need to win this fight fast. If you're playing the circle and you're in a bad spot, the circle's rotating past the even worse spot, you need to win these fights as fast as possible. Stop playing passive. Start playing aggressive. Start getting some aggression down. Push that fight. Why are we still worried about stadium right now? Why are we still worried about stadium? Oh, cool. We broke his armor. Hell yeah. Even if we would have downed him, he had teammates up there or self res. He's going to res. Worry about the fight at hand. I don't know. Maybe help your teammate out too. And there, there we go. Weird. That's, that, that was easy. Oh, he, bailed, he bailed off real fast. That was good for him. They just get sandwiched? They just get pinched? Was, was that a third party? Or did they wrap up behind them? That was a third party because now homeboy's shooting at someone else. And that's another reason. So what, what I was trying to say was because we're in this bad spot and we have to rotate past stadium, which is a bad rotation spot, especially when homeboy on the rooftop is gatekeeping us, right? We should have left this area and instantly pushed into here and killed these guys. We should have. That was the best plan of action. Would it have worked out? Who knows? You better hit your shots. But it's a better option than just sitting there for multiple reasons. One, the gas is eventually going to force you out anyway. And either you're going to die to this guy or die to this guy. It doesn't matter because your compound will be pushed out before anyone else's. Two, as you saw here, 
you're attracting a lot of attention by shooting your gun a ton of times and not capitalizing on anything. Mm -hmm. So you're probably gonna get third party. That's exactly what happened right there. So guys, make sure you win your fights fast and efficiently stop wasting time because that's one of the reasons why you keep getting third party. Also guys, if you haven't heard about it, sneak energy. This is the truth is actually green in here. Oh, the green seems gonna cut it out. Look at that, it didn't. Kind of green, partially green. Savage, I don't care about your sneak energy. Teach me some shit. Okay. Ooh, ooh, the build in this gun is questionable. Questionable, brother. I'm sorry, dude, but on the kilo, command a foregrip every time. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. Don't care. Don't care. What's that? I don't care. I don't care. Command a foregrip on the kilo every time. As as of as of this day right here, as of March 5th. Who knows? They may they may nerf the command of foregrip into Bolivia tomorrow. Who knows? Can never tell with this game. All right, but as far as this team is concerned right now, I mean, Orange had a good plan trying to push Stadium because you want to get out of this area that the circle is going to make us. So he had a good idea bailing out. Why didn't we bail with him? If he made it to Stadium safely, why couldn't we? And yes, he's down on top, but I wouldn't have gone on top. Again, I would have rotated out of Stadium. Get out of Stadium. Never, ever play Stadium when the circle is near it or on the edge of it. We want to get away from Stadium, get downtown and start pre-rotating the next circle. Get out of this area. So again, move as a team, work as a team. That way you guys can be safe as a team. Right now, the enemy team is literally picking us off one at a time. I mean, you can you can go behind the box get that res up oh my god wait can he shoot through those boxes bro that's unfortunate oh oh you gotta hit some headshots baby and this is what happens just like with the first team just like with the first team and I get it. They had us gate kept. I understand. And it's all well said. I get that. But again, Orange made it to stadium safely. Why couldn't we go with him? Why couldn't we go with him? And now that team suffers the same fate as the team that they had killed. And here we are all moving on to the next team is probably going to suffer the same exact fate that the other guys did. And again, stadium's not a good place to fight in general. I, you know, you're in a hot drop here. That's fine. Dropping here is one thing, but playing it mid in game is so dumb because this is exactly what, what you either are going to end up doing or it's what you're going to run into. Do you want to fight people doing this? No. Do you want to do this? No. I understand you want kills, but look at the circle. If we go ahead and pre-rotate, we can gatekeep everyone coming out of stadium. All right, orange pinged. Hopefully we're going to be moving out now. I hope we're running the opposite way. Maybe not. He might jump out the window. Who knows? Sky's the limit with, with Guerrero. When you get out of the spot, we have a shit ton of money. I'm all for buying, but buy fast. I don't know what we're doing right now. Parker's up top playing hacky sack. We need to go ahead and start buying some things. And get the hell out of here. They're playing in the windows. Come on, man. Rotate. This one, this Savage, why do you always make the same video? Because y'all do the same shit, man. Stop it. Stop it. Guerrero's got eight kills. I don't know how many kills his teammates have, but I'm assuming they're not that bad. Again, this is... This is the whole point of the channel is to tell you guys and prove to you guys that y'all are better than you give yourself credit for. If you have eight kills. You should be doing a lot smarter plays than this. Let's rotate out of here. Let's start gatekeeping, get positioning. We have downtown. We can gatekeep. We have stadium. We can gate gatekeep. Then again, I don't think anyone's at stadium, to be honest. I really don't. But rotations is king. Make sure you're capitalizing on rotations and use it to your benefit. Is that a laser? Did y'all see that laser? That red, that, not the red one that we had, but the green one. There's a laser on top of there. I think there is somebody inside that. Pretty sure there is. And Orange is too. He's just hard scoping the shit out of it right now. Again, communications and ping are everything. Since they're standing that way, I think there's a player that way as well. They need to ping that stadium. That way Guerrero can pay attention to it as well. I said as well a lot in that little, that little statement right there. Circle's coming in. And and look, I'm all for gatekeeping too, but this is not a good spot to gatekeep because we're going to end up getting, getting gatekept when we have to move to farmland. Waypoint mark. Move. I still think there's a guy in the stadium. I may be 100% wrong. I really may be wrong, but if we get clapped in the side of the head, I won't be surprised at all. That'll be a that'll be one of those moments where I start screaming weird. I guess I was wrong. Lo and behold. Lo and behold. All right, but yeah, let's get the hell across from here, dude. I wouldn't even stay here this long, to be honest. Now that we're rotating exactly to farmland, should the circle divert? 
to the southern side of the map towards prison we need to instantly make a beeline that way as well all right we have a whole team camping on buy station we need to go ahead and start pinching them start rotating on them don't try to challenge them from this building because this building is not safe we're almost safe but not quite not to mention you don't want to piss off the other team and then you'll end up losing the fight and then you'll end up in this tit for tat and guess what when the circle does push us out we're in the open vulnerable with no cover and they have an entire fortress around them so i definitely play a little low key and start rotating through the buildings and come up around them maybe even get in these buildings and start shooting at them but you definitely want to collapse on this team i wouldn't go to the buildings i would just instantly collapse on them to be honest but here we are showing our glint for everyone to see and he's gonna wall through the walls there it is baby there it is who would have thought sheetrock doesn't stop bull it's weird weird we need to play it up and get out of this area too we need to ready for more i don't see this team winning the fight assuming the enemy team plays this correctly we were gonna get screwed up i love how he got shot from the right hand side and he looks left again hit markers guys hit markers man pay attention we're getting hit from One at a time. One at a time. We go down, baby. This team came in like a firing squad. Amazing. All right, here we are. Ladies and gentlemen, spectating Pearson we got recon online. and his two homeboys. Unfortunately, they are down a man. They do not have enough money to buy their teammates back. Actually, they're going back into the gas right now, and they still don't have enough. Sucks to suck, brother. Sucks to suck. But we don't have a bad spot. I'm not a favor of this spot because I think the cir circle is going to rotate and put us in a very bad area, but they don't have a bad spot. Um, we have a ridge we can play. We have the high ground. Hopefully these guys start getting in fight with each other and then we can hopefully use them fighting each other as a distraction to push over to the next zone, which I think is going to be over here because of how small of an area we actually have to our favor. But notice the loadout drop to our right hand side. There may be other loadout drops over there. So you definitely want to go ahead and clear that. This is one of those moments where I don't want to go ahead and position myself in the circle yet. I want to do what orange and highlighter color is doing. So you want to go with your teammate and clear the edge on this side. That way, once we have it cleared and we know we're protected from both sides, we can go ahead and get to our safe spot. We're sitting here laying prone by the tree. We run the risk of getting shot in the head and getting shot from behind because we don't know who's rotating from prison. At least we're looking that way. I'll give him that. Orange is bunny hopping down the ridge. He made bunny hop right into his own death. Everyone Never mind. Orange bunny hopping someone else's death. I love that. Let's go. And yo, my dude Pierce is rocking 15 kills. I love it. Amax is goaded, but I do prefer the. Man's got some snaps, baby. Man's got some snaps. I was not expecting that from him. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> when I saw him go prone behind the tree, I was, I, you know, you just you expect this. What? First off, where's your teammate at? And the reason why I asked where your teammate's at is because why wasn't he suppressing fire while we were pushed up to execute? Situation like that, sometimes you have to go prone to get the res off. I get that. You want to get the res off. That way it's a fair fight. But he should have pinged where he got down from. He should have pinged our location. That way, I mean, it wasn't a team wipe, but that way his teammates could suppress the fire. Granted, he would have died regardless because of orange. But again, small team things like that could help you guys win fights that you may normally lose. All right, but now we are down to a 3v2 fight. We have the high ground, and I would go ahead off a limb and assume that they're probably... Oh. I was wrong. I thought they were going to be camping the gas station. Here they are camping behind the loadout drop. They knock one of our teammates. He goes prone. We're we'll going ahead for the execute. And that's all she wrote, baby. GG. Look, again, the purpose of in-circle videos is to put you guys in players' shoes who are in messed up positions and teach you guys how to work out of it and teach you guys the decisions y'all should be focusing on instead of going after kills. Just like all of these guys, they should have been focused on getting the high ground. They should have been focused on playing cover. The team we killed before the last one, they had no cover. They were laying vulnerable. I have no idea where their third teammate was or their fourth teammate was for that matter. And they weren't working as a team. So again, when it comes to this game or any battle royals in general, in-game situations are crucial for focusing on position. Also, any team-based game, duos, trios, quads, 16 players on your team, doesn't matter. Make sure you're utilizing teamwork and pings, man. Pings are a cheat code. Please start utilizing them. But I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, again, subscribe, leave a like on the video. But till next time, you have a good one and good luck in Warzone.